Hello my crafty friends, it is Trinae here and today I am dropping by for a Color With Me episode that's going to be a little um, different with the way I do it. Uh, usually I just stamp out some, um, you know, like some stamp images and I kind of just uh, show you uh, me coloring the images but this, today is going to be a little bit different in that I'm not the focus of this color with me isn't going to necessarily be the image it is the majority of the color is going to come from the background which is going to be a nice beachy sunset type of feel um, for these little um, flamingos which I think is so cute now this would make a adorable Valentine's Day card or um, an anniversary card or anytime card or you know whatever it's completely up to you so let's talk about um, what we'll be using to color the images. So for the images, I'm just using three products, which are Copic markers, and I'm using BV25C0, um, C09, C9, and C7. All of these are gray tones because um, we're doing a sunset, so they the flamingos are going to be in front of the sunset, meaning that since the sun is behind them, when we look at it, the lighting from front on would be they would be darker on the side that we're looking at so they are just pretty much going to be um, like in gray tones like a normal silhouette would be I have um, going to use Versa, um, VersaFine to stamp all of this out including like these little palm trees just going to keep them nice and dark everything in the foreground is going to be dark even the um, the landscape that we're using so let's talk about um, what I'll be using for this project. I have a panel that is square that I have die cut from the stitch um, Stitch squares. You can also do this on the stitch rectangles. I'm planning on doing it twice I'm just going to show you how it turned. I'm just going to show you the process for it on the square But it's gonna I'm going to do the same thing twice basically um, and also the part that I use, the paper that I use to cut this out, I'm keeping this because when I get ready to do the bottom part, I'm going to need that paper. So I just want to make sure I hold on to this part. So I'm kind of creating my mess. Um, I usually like using just um, scotch post-it tape for masking. I'm completely out and I didn't have time to run to the store. so. I just cut out my stuff on regular cardstock and I use a heavy duty cardstock. Um, I tape the part down and then I can just slide this in there and then I'm going to add tape up here to make sure that stays in place. So let's talk about our main colors that we'll be using. I am using Distress Inks. The first one I am using is Mustard Seed. I'm also using Ripe Persimmon which is kind of like an orangey red tone. I'm using pink raspberry and I'm using chip sapphire. So that's where the majority of our color is going to come from and this layout um, is basically going to come from the sunset. Alright, so I just have everything in the order that I'm going to use them and I have the ink color behind me so behind that so you can see it. And I'm going to tape this down. I'm just gonna go across the back of it. I don't have to worry about it like peeling too bad just because it's on the craft mat. It's not gonna stick to it like permanently, but it will hold it enough so that this doesn't move. So there's that and we'll go ahead and get started. I am going to start on the background first and then I work my way um, to like the foreground stuff. So we're going to start with this mustard seed. And because this isn't like secure it down, um, like with masking tape, I'm going to like more so push up just to try to keep the color from, you know, like coming under the thing. So 
I'm going to come in with this orange, just like red orange color. Just add it right over that yellow. And then I'm going to come back with the yellow. Then I'm going to go to this uh, pinky color, the pink raspberry. I was just using the um, ripe persimmon. All right, and then we'll come in with our last color, and that is the chip sapphire. Alright, so now I'm going to move on to doing the foreground and I just love when you mask something and then you pull the mask off. You get that pretty color. I just think it's so cute. That's going to stay right there. Um, and then I'm just going to layer this over here. And I forgot to show, I forgot to pull out what we'll be using for the, um, for the bottom part, but it's going to be pretty, um, you know, pretty simple stuff. I'm going to do black soot. We are just going to blend, blend, blend. Now I will say with my dark colors like this, I do try to use a light hand and just kind of build a color on. And that is our sunset. Let's move on. Let's move it on. All right. So now we are going to stamp out our flamingos. Yeah, that's a really dirty acrylic block. I think I'm going to use a small one. So there's one, and you guys, you know what? I picked up the wrong ink. Yikes. I should be using my Memento ink, not the Versa Fine ink. Cross fingers that it don't, you know, mess up my markers too bad. You're not supposed to use um, Versa Fine ink with the alcohol markers. I don't know why, uh, something about the ink in the they don't get along too well. <laughs> okay. All right, so now we are going to color everything in. I'm starting with this. Um, grayish violet color which is BV25 and even though all of this is in the shadow 
I kind of want um, I kind of still want it to be some dimension that's why I'm using three diff different color markers like I could just do like a straight silhouette and just color these black but I feel like I still want a little bit like a little bit of shadow I don't want it to be just a straight you know And I showed and finished that sentence that I. <laughs> oh, you guys. I promise you, it is so hard for me to color and talk at the same time. Like, for real. Then I'm gonna come over that with some C um what is this C seven? And I'm just going over this with a gel marker. Um, and I'm doing that because I had a couple of places on here that didn't stamp out um, too well. Where the image wasn't very crisp. And it's like little... Um, you can see the color from behind in it. And I just want that, like the leads and stuff to be solid black. And right here is where I went outside of the line. So I'm just going to carry that line out and then like fade it back in. I'm going to stamp out a couple of palm trees. All right, so we have our trees added. I think they look really nice. So I'm just going to go into this black, black Versafine. Or what is that? Yeah, Versafine. <laughs> And I'm just going to ink up the bottom just to give it a little bit more dimension. All right, so the only thing left to do is to attach our card to the card base. And I'm going to attach mine as a side fold card instead of a top fold card. I don't know. I think I might attach it as a top fold. I just love top folding cards. However, first I do want to add the um, the sentiment for inside this card. And I am going to use the one that came with here that says, We Flamingo Together. <laughs> How awesome is that? Like, love the pun. And you guys, that is my garage door opening. <laughs> And that is Chloe going crazy because she know her daddy is home. <laughs> I think it's the cutest thing. Like, 
She gets so excited like when he gets home. There goes our flamingo card. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Also, share it with your crafty friends. Be sure to subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Just hit that face button. And until next time, see you later. Thank you.